Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey and Native for your thanks. DigiKey, every single legal aid agent, power of engineering, WSU. Find what you're looking for at digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week this week? Okay, this one's going to be a little longer. That's why I was like, let's cut, let's cut over. Yeah, let's go. So, that's weird. Okay, shortcut. So, a long, long time ago, um, I, and day she, it's Star Trek Day, on a day she far away. It's, um, I had this really nice, low cost, I2S stereo output breakout called the UDA1334. And what was nice about this is that it didn't require an M clock, which meant it worked great with a Raspberry Pi. It had stereo line level out. It was very inexpensive. The chip was like a dollar. Um, so that means I can, you know, all the extra components you needed and assembly and test and margins for distributors like the DigiKey. Um, have it be seven bucks, which is a really good deal. So the only problem is that this got discontinued. Um, NXP doesn't make it anymore. And they don't have a direct replacement. They did have the UDA, for a while you get the UDA 1334B. The B series did require an M clock signal. Um, there's some, you know, amplifiers or I2S uh, DACs that you can just do bit clock, data in, and word select. And between those three signals, it has all that it needs to generate the master clock or your system clock or whatever. And then um, it runs just fine. Some microcontrollers can generate an M clock signal, but like I said, a Raspberry Pi doesn't. Maybe the Pi 5 can, but the Pi 4 and earlier could not. Um, and so that was an issue with people who wanted to um, connect I2S amps. So you can have a separate crystal, but like, you know, now your cost is increasing in the complexity. It would be great to just have an amplifier that didn't require it. Um, okay, so the UDA 1334A got discontinued, and we do have some other stuff that works pretty well, like the um, Max 98357 Classic. Love this guy. Also takes only bit clock left, right data. You have uh, shutdown and gain pins for uh, mechanical hardware control and power, and you're good to go. Oh, the same thing. It doesn't require... I to see as a driver, which is great because, um, not that it's anything wrong with the chips that do acquire drivers, but again, if you're using it with a microcontroller or with Zephyr or free RTOS, and like, if you don't want to write a driver for the chip, like you just, you just want I2S to audio or audio to I2S. I can, like, I'm a big fan of like, data goes in, audio comes out. Like maybe there's a couple jumpers, but you're pretty happy with the defaults because you know, you're not doing an audio file project. So um, this chip got discontinued a couple years ago, very sad, but I would like to replace it because it's a, it's a common request. We've had actually a couple people say, hey, have you come up with a replacement for this chip? So today's great search is we're going to find a stereo line level output, headphone, you know, amplifier, great if so, but line level stereo, no system clock or M clock required, no I squared C configuration, just runs like, out of the box, 3.3 volt logic and inexpensive. I want it to be around a dollar so I can replace this board. Um, I don't expect it to be pin compatible, but I do want it to be, you know, not too big, not too small, just right. Okay, so let's go to DigiKey. And one thing I like to do when I'm looking for replacements is I start with the chip, which I can't get, but we might as well go there like i said you can get some of the non the b or the non a type but the a type itself is completely unavailable um so we want to get audio dax and we want surface mount uh, i won't select anything else for now let's just see what is similar so number of channels um well first of all let's just look for active only because we're and normally stocking so that actually cuts it down from about 550 to 130 because there's a lot of discontinued uh, I2S amplifiers. Okay, next, there's a lot, but and one thing to see the truth, you're not gonna be able to find one that has that PLL thing built in from the search. It's not something that's like filtered within DigiKey search. But what I can do is filter out ones that require a separate control signal. Um, I mean, the voltages, all these are 
I mean, I can filter out the ones. They pretty much all have 3.3 .3 volts, so I'm not worried about it. But so if I select all of these and then I remove the ones that have I squared C control or SPI control, because I want I2S, I2S, SPI. Let's do that. Okay, I got a couple fewer. Channels. I really only want two, but let's just select four on the off chance. Like sometimes they're like, oh, I have a separate um, speaker channel or something. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, a couple, couple options. DAC, audio, I2S. Okay, looks good. Um, the only thing next is, you know, I search by price. There's, there's no way to filter by price, but we can at least look at um some of the options like i said there's no there's no way to um filter out just the ones that are less than a certain price but you do see like you can say price by like quantity i can say like 500 and then i can kind of make a mental cutoff because as i scroll down for i think it's the end of this it's about two dollars which is again above my my limit um so i'm only gonna look at the ones in, in this page so let's do that so to find the ones that don't need M clock, you basically have to go to the data sheet. I did find one fast way to, to quickly check because you don't want to read the whole data sheet because you know you're you have to finish this in 10 minutes. But if you do search for PLL, if the word PLL does not appear, that means it does it requires M clock because if you look at the um input, you see M clock here. If it didn't require it, it would say there's a PLL built in, which generates it. So Sorry, NAU8814, you, you're, not, you're not the one. Okay, let's look at the um, PCM1780 series. So again, search for the word PLL. And this one does have the word PLL show up, but it only shows up once. And basically it's saying, you should use a PLL to generate the system clock. And I don't want to, I don't want a separate chip because this is the 18 and they're, they're, they're like, you want to use a separate generator chip to do it and I don't. So I'm going to close this. Um, ditto with this PCM 1750 series. PLL, ditto, it's like you need to you need to supply it. Um, system clock manager and there's no, you don't see PLL anywhere. It doesn't, you have to generate it. Let's look at the Wolfson. Also, word PLL does not appear. Skip it. Let's look at the Asahi. PLL doesn't appear. Skipping it. PCM 17. We actually kind of looked at the 17 series, so we're going to skip this one. PCM 5121. PLL. Okay. Promising because it's 228 appearances of the word. Integrated PLL removes requirement for a system clock, allowing a three-wire I2S connection. Ding! Okay, so this one's good. So that's nice. Let's just keep searching. So this one we know, 51, 21. Everyone's honking outside because they agree. Let's look at the WM84, no PLL. Let's look at the TLV. I'll leave this data sheet open. This looks like, yeah, it looks like it does have a PLL and it has a mono speaker amplifier too, which is actually kind of cool. So this one has speaker and headphone driver. I will keep this in mind. Um, this is a bit, it's a bit more than I need. It's kind of a bit complicated and it requires I squared C configuration. So this is a very cool chip, but I don't think, yeah, you need to do I squared C control to configure it. So very cool chip, has the PLL, but requires that hardware control. Um, so good to see the PCM5101. PLL, yeah, with PLL. So this one also has PLL, which is kind of nice. So we'll keep this one also in mind. And then as we're starting to get into like, you know, they're starting to get a little more expensive. I think we've sort of searched all the WM 
8 series. This PCM1 5100 is the same family as the 5101. It's a little bit more expensive and it's a little higher quality. Um, it's not mentioned here. It's in the data sheet. So I'm going to skip looking at this. 500, 501, APW. These are all the same thing. PCM 17 series. I think we looked at this one. This one, no, it doesn't have. And then another 51, 51. Um, and then now we're getting to $2. So that's beyond my budget. So these are the two chips available. Um, they're both really good. This one is from 2012. And this chip is from also 2012. So about the same family. Um, I can look at them in more detail. They see... This is direct path. I think the output, maybe how the output works is a little bit different. Um, they both have, you know, this one has a different, there's a different signal to noise ratio, basically a higher quality. The 5122A is a little bit higher quality. And this one also has similar, slightly higher quality. These are actually very similar chips. And let's look at the pinout lot more pins i think this one has a lot more configurations yeah it looks like this one you can do gain control in hardwire mode this one is actually kind of interesting the 51 2 x series so the chip depending on how you set the mode pins because this one has 28 pins and this one has 20 so this one is kind of a more minimal version this one has eight uh eight more pins which is a lot of pins you can configure the mode you can configure the gain and by setting different modes, you can either use I2C, SPI, or hardware to configure the um, gain and formatting and output. And I kind of love this like Christmas tree <laughs> uh, data sheet because they're like, oh, it's like this pin can be MOSI or SDA, or it can be the attenuation control. Um, but this one looks good. The 512X series, the 5122 or the 5121, I think it's going to be my pick. This actually is the closer, um, the 5100 is the closer uh, match for the UDA1334. But given that the pricing actually for the 5122 is a little bit less, I think, let's look. The 5120, the 5101 was like a buck 50, and the 5121, which I just lost. Is a little bit less it's like 125 it's 25 cents less and it has more functionality um i think for small size sizes the 5100 but you'll get really good performance from the 5121 so i think i think this is one is my pick for the great search and that is the great search